Hey, this is Tim here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we'd like to show you our uh, low-cost trainer. Uh, this is a project we've been working on for about six months now, and uh, it's myself and James Kafer. James is uh, a former student, and uh, he's got himself, he's landed himself a big job in Baltimore now, and uh, he's been helping me with this for about you know six to eight months. So um, why why did we why are we spending our time creating a, a low-cost trainer? Um, this is something that we've been thinking about for a while now and um, uh, we're filming in our mechatronics lab and we're surrounded by some equipment that is uh, $50,000, $90,000 in price and uh, we think that's crazy. So um, we designed this ourselves, it's like a little automated factory. Um, any high school, any community college, any um, university with a few dollars in their pocket and uh, a, a laser cutter or a 3D and a 3D printer um, can build this. Now, just to be clear, you don't need a laser cutter, but it definitely helps. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to... Um, James is going to explain how it works. Uh, what you're going to get, if you're interested in doing this, is uh, we're going to give you links for all the drawings. We're going to give you links for all the the schematics we're going to well i don't know if i'm going to give you the plc code but uh but uh, nearly everything else you could possibly need uh, i don't want to give you the plc code because i want you to write it yourself that's the whole point um you know so what do you need uh, what what is the james how much is how much do all these how much does this cost to build this about fifteen hundred dollars. About fifteen hundred bucks. Um, uh, I don't. I don't think a high school will need a, a high level of technical ability. Um, what 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 did we, we use? We used a three D printer. Um, the laser cutter definitely helped. Uh, we ordered a lot of parts from uh, Automation Direct, uh, Open Builds. What what else? Uh, Servo City. Yep, eighty twenty. Eighty twenty. Um, so there's a hell of a lot of. Um, Sensors. There's a hell of a lot of complexity on this system, and uh, I'm sure you're bored of me and you want to see James explain it. So, um, James, you want to give it a lash? Turn it on. Reset. Start it. This is a pneumatic system. It throws out our cups onto this linear actuator here, and linear actuator is driven by a stepper motor. And next comes our screw conveyor which is driven by a gear motor and a belt driven drive. And lastly, it stores the cups with another pneumatic system according to color. And then you just hit reset and restart it. And it goes back to the beginning. So you have a nice um, flexible coupling there. You have your stepper motor with a stepper motor driver. We have a light tower for um, indication. So we're going to provide you with exploded assembly drawings, builds of materials, everything you could possibly need to build this thing. How does the how does the system uh, how is it able to tell the difference between the white and the black cans? Well, right here we have our photoelectric sensors, and we turn down the sensitivity for one of them, in which the white cup sets it off. And the black cup doesn't because it doesn't reflect doesn't reflect. It. Gotcha. Yeah. So um, we're using. Uh, let me just show you here. Our control system is a Click PLC. Um, a Click PLC is about one hundred and fifty dollars. What else can we say about it? Um, so what? What? How? It looks complicated. Um, but we're, we ordered an awful lot of parts from uh, Automation Direct. These cream parts, wherever you see them, are all made in our uh, 3D printer. So um, we have a lot of 3D printed parts. Everything is off the shelf, 3D printed. A lot of these black sheets here, you see these black plates, they were laser cut. Now, if you're saying, I don't have a laser cutter, what am I going to do here? You could make these with uh, plywood very, very easily and paint them. Um, but a laser cutter definitely makes it easier. You need about 1500, 1600 bucks. Now we are using a pneumatic system here, so um, in our lab here, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, come on, here we go. We have our own pneumatic system that runs around the lab. Now you don't need a, a fancy pneumatic system. Um, we're just running this off a $60 pump that I brought in from Home Depot. It's made by, what is it made by? Porter Cable, cheapo, does the job. 
um, you know, so um, the other thing you can do is is you don't have to build all this at once. You could start off with um, this P the PLC, the Click PLC. The software is free. You could buy yourself a light tower that's made by Wolf Automation, and then you could have push buttons. And you know, you could just start off with uh, this linear actuator, um, or you could you could concentrate on one. So we have three separate modules. You could concentrate on building one module at a time. Uh, we're just using plastic tubing here and we're just cutting it with a hacksaw and then filing it um, You're gonna have to know an awful lot about wiring and that's it. So we're gonna hopefully give you everything that you could possibly want to build this and uh, And really good luck with it. So we're gonna have more videos on this on, on how to build it We're gonna provide uh, teachers with curriculum and hopefully uh, in, a, in, a, in a couple of months time We're gonna have a large book of lab exercises to use this piece of equipment Nice, finally. Works every time. <laughs> works every time. Mm. Uh, James, why don't you run, run it here and kind of explain what it does. You have to turn it on now. He's a mechanical engineer. <laughs>